Good evening everybody and it is currently 10.45pm on the, I think it's the 2nd of March, oh I'm being told it's the 3rd, I do apologise, I am in so much pain that I just can't even think, I know we're in March, that's all I know. Now I know you don't see me and I just appear at random, excuse this state of me. But I have seen, I just, if I start swearing, I'm going to apologise in advance because you know I don't like swearing, you know I don't like cursing on videos and stuff. But I've seen the Ingham's vlog and they clickbaited it. And I'm like, oh boy. And I've actually watched it on Dougal's, the raccoon. And I've left some comments on there. And what fucking morons, idiots are them two? I have no other words. I could, I don't even know what to say about them two. I seriously don't. I've always said something is going to happen where the children are concerned. Now, there's been many of incidents, many of incidents rather, that the children have been left and left in danger. Um, many of incidents have come out in paper and this and other, and yet I used to stick up for them. Me, yes, used to stick up for them. A message Jane, Chrissy's mother. Now, thank God I've bloody grown up. I'm nearly 49 and can see what dangers they are putting them kids in. Now, I saw the one where she wanted to go to this waffle restaurant on top of this bloody thing. And it was like ski lift things. And when I say I had anxiety attacks, I had anxiety attacks watching, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> her, Jace, Mila, Chris, and Chris holding that bane with one hand going up that thing and Jace and Mila are leaning forward. I couldn't. I just could not. I thought, I could use the word stupidity, but it's more than stupidity because, you know, even though the legs were between bars, it wouldn't have took a second, a split second, for one of them two to fall out or Chris drop Aurora. I just, I don't get what's going on in the brain. I just don't get what is going on in their brain. Now, after tonight's one, and I thought, okay, it's probably not going to be as bad as the clip bait it until I watched it over there. And first of all, when Sarah was speaking and she said, have I vlogged yet? Oh, yeah, I vlogged for bre breakfast or something. And she said something to Chris, I don't know what. And Chris seemed agitated, whatever, I don't know. But he did say he could do with sleeping for a week. Mm-hmm. Chris stays up till godsend hours. He said he stayed up till half or five o'clock before now, editing the vlogs, then going to bed and being back up again for half past seven. Now, I don't sleep. I might get an hour to two hours per night, if I'm lucky. Um, I have severe pain, insomnia, you name it. And it's clear that he, he don't get enough sleep. So while they've been doing this holiday and stuff, he's not been getting sleep. Still, from when he's at home and he don't get the sleep. <clears throat> and I've said something is going to happen. Now, I will just say 
thank God, then children are okay, seem to be okay. But who's to say that neither of any of them are going to get PTSD from what, what happened? I'll have had to say, if anybody, bless us all, but I am glad they're okay or seem to be. But to get the cameras out and film it all and clickbait it all, I was just shocked to the core. And when I heard that and crash thing, I thought, what the... F and then it goes to next clip. You've got sort of... Now, you can't see properly, but you've got sort of Sarah leaning this way. And Chris will be just a tad higher up. And then, obviously, there's Aurora in the baby seat next to Sarah. And the others will be in the back somewhere with Isabel. So Isabel will have been technically watching them. But you can hear before the footage comes on that Chris is saying, don't move. But he's saying in such a way because he knows he's done wrong. He knows he's done wrong and put the kids at risk. Now, Sarah was saying because the temperature changes and, you know, it's getting warmer. It's gotten warmer. The snow starts to melt. Then it gets colder and it ices over. Then it snows again and there's another layer of snow on top. Now... It didn't have some track things on the van. I don't know what these track things are because I don't drive. Is that what, what are they called? Snow chains. Snow chains, thank you. Snow chains. I don't know what these sort of things are or anything like that. I'm not a driver. Thank the Lord I'm not because I'm a nervous passenger, let alone being a driver. I'd only probably go two mile an hour. Um, snow chains. Now... You know, they're, they're telling each other, don't move, you're making me nervous, and this, that, other. And they've gone into a snowbank. Now, apparently, they've gone from whatever into a one-lane something. Bearing in mind, I'm not over there, Finland, wherever they are. I don't know what... I mean, you can clearly see there's lots of snow. But I won't go anywhere near and do any of that because I have fears of my own so I will not be stupid enough to and they're still you know what Sarah's still having a giggle in the bloody van RV SUV SUV whatever it's called motor on thing RV thank you RV I'm having to get dead, tell me, because I can't really remember. Um, I don't even know what I'm on about now. Oh, giggle in the RV. Poor Aurora is crying. Probably because, you know, she's felt that thing as well and she wants speeding and this, that and other. And, you know, she didn't want to pick her up in case it... Tilted the old way, as in boom. Now, if it had of tilted, I don't think it would have gone straight up onto its other end. I think it would have just gone boom onto its side, which wouldn't have made things any better, really, because even if they did, if the, if it had, had gone that way onto its full side, they still couldn't get any decent clothing or anything like that to keep himself warm any warm drinks or anything. So if they'd have tried climbing out of this side, if it had tipped over, well, then they'd have had to jump down, really, wouldn't they? They'd have had to jump down. But that probably could have put them at this still then because they wouldn't have got back up. They'd have been out in cold, um, 
under the ball being laying down on one side, as in the devolver being on that side, if they unbuckled themselves, if they were strapped in. I, I, obviously there were people stopping and asking if they were okay and a woman stopped. I didn't see this woman. A woman must have stopped and phoned the police and it pinged from her phone as to what area they were in. And they had RAC international coverage and stuff like that, which, you know, I think it was about an hour maybe it took them to come out with the fire engine, police, etc. And he had chains or whatever to try and get the van back off the banking, the snow bank. Obviously, you can see in the footage that it looks like the fire brigade people have tried digging under, underneath and at the side to move as much snow as they can, but then they're going to whip an ice blanket underneath. So then they go into a... I'm not sure what they're sat in, actually, whether it's the fire engine or what. I'm not sure what they're sat in. Um, but Chris was already in there, in that car, engine, whatever, before Esme and Mila. And so was Sarah, come to think of it. And I'm like, what? You're letting your 14-year-old daughter get Mila out of the van and get into the other van while you two were already in there. Oh, don't rush, will you? Don't, don't make sure your kids are in the van first. Uh, you make sure you're comfortable enough in that van before, you know, before you're checking your kids because, you know, that's the most responsible thing you could do, isn't it, Chris? You dickhead. And you, Sarah. I mean, you can't have a dickhead, but fucking hell. You need to learn how to look after your kids. And then... He goes on a rant because they were going to be left in the middle of nowhere for God knows how many hours with the children because they couldn't get the van moving. They couldn't move the van. And then it must have turned out, they must have talked to him because Chris said, well, what, you what am I supposed to do when I've got six kids and blah, 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 I and mean, cold temperatures, yada, yada, yada. Well, maybe if you'd have had some sleep and caught up on sleep, you wouldn't have been in this predicament in first place, would you, you moron? And anyway, they must have come up with some sort of agreement that they were going to take them lot to an hotel or somewhere and Chris would stay behind because it's about seven hours before somebody, tow truck, I think it was, tow truck, would come out and hopefully get it lifted up. <sighs> Bearing in mind, by the way, that if they have gone, because it did end the vlog, Bearing in mind, if they have gone with whoever to an hotel, they've no clothing, they've no food, which I'm sure they get food, but, you know, the go wherever to get food, but they've no clothing because the clothing's all inside that van. Now imagine if that had been the sprinter and they were all packed into that sprinter somehow. How? I wouldn't have known, but you know, they, they do these things these days, don't they? So if they'd have all been in the sprinter van and that would have hit the snow bank, no. That, that sprinter van would have just gone phew and flipped, done a flip over. I, ju I just can't. I can't with ease. I just can't anymore with ease. And yet I never saw anything wrong. And I'm seeing a lot wrong now. A lot, lot wrong with what they are doing to their children. And nobody's taking 
any notice, nobody's paying any attention, and you've got the bloody eye fam who's sticking up for them, and this, that, and other, and yada, 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 and all that shit. Oh, kids are fine. I'm not on about this incident, but kids are fine, you know. Them two know what they're doing. The parents know what they're doing. I know most of them are vulnerable, but Jesus Christ, and I'm not saying nothing about that because we've got a child who's vulnerable. But look at what they're doing. Don't say the kids are not in danger. Then kids are in danger and they need to get back on with them kids. ASAP, instead of King gallivanting off, if they do gallivant off again, to somewhere else on the next adventure. Oh, I'm surprised it hasn't happened before, especially, oh, I couldn't cope with that, my anxiety, when they were going, and they were going on them roads with little barriers like that, little teeny barriers, and that ice and that snow, one wrong move of that wheel or him, that would have been end of family, gone, boom, gone. But, I don't know what to say. I do not know what to say on what I saw, other than all I could think of was, I hope the children are okay, which it's been said they are, and none of them get any some sort any sort of trauma from what 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 happened. Now I know people will be saying, Oh, it won't a bigger deal and this that and other and yada yada. I'm sorry, but I'd have been shitting myself. I would have shit my pants if I'd have been in that situation with just one of my children in the car. Car, van, rather, let alone anybody else. I'd have panicked, I'd have freaked out. I would not have calmed down. And yet, yeah. Get your children back home. Stop being fucking idiots and thinking you're above everybody else now because you think you're famous. Oh, not, not forgetting though, you have escaped the matrix now, haven't you? Mm hmm Yes, that has gone down. You have escaped the matrix. Hope you got your money's worth. Get them back home. Get them to see other people instead of keeping them all together, cooped up like there's some bloody chickens in a coop, and let them go out and adventure, the older ones, and get the other two younger ones out there instead of letting them two just play together on their own. It's called socialising, interacting with others, not just with the parents uh, or siblings. And go get your edge checked. Now, when I mean that, I don't mean fucking cut your brains open and stuff like that because, well, I don't want to... Yeah, better not go there, either. But you know what I mean. Go seek help. Before you put one of them kids at risk or all of them at risk, that something is going to go wrong. Now, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to come off because I could probably carry on and use more profanity than I've ever used before about these two, two stupid fucking morons who think they are doing the best to give their children memories And not thinking about the risks they're taking, to be honest. But on that note, I'm going to jump very nicely off. Not jump off. Come off here. It's now five past eleven. As you can see, there's no sleep coming towards me yet. Look at the nice bags. Oh, I can't even see when I take them off. Jesus Christ, I'm blind as a bleeding bat. And I hope everybody everywhere is safe well and still being able to cope with all this shit that's going around with the recession and everything but until next time like i say i just randomly appear until next time please take care of yourselves 
not like the Inghams, as in mother and father who don't take care of their kids. And take care. Good night. Bye.